search crews are frantically trying to reach rural villages covered in ash. Dale, dale, dale. A policeman recorded this dramatic video as his car was engulfed. This woman narrowly escaped. All the people couldn't get out. I think they ended up buried, she begin says. With a disaster unfolding in Guatemala, where the volcano of fire has erupted. It is a humanitarian crisis in the making in Central America. Rescuers are trying to pull people to safety, but more than 62 have been killed, and that toll is expected to go much higher. More than 46 are hurt, more than 3,200 evacuated. It is happening not far from Guatemala's capital, and Don Daler has details. Orange, superheated gas and rocks shot into the sky and poured down the mountain, reportedly wiping out entire villages. The eruption sent ash as far as 40 miles away. In the first few hours, the ash and mud remained so hot, rescuers had a difficult time reaching victims, some of whom could be heard crying out for help. The rapidly moving mixture of gases and volcanic matter, known as pyroclastic flows, reached 1,300 degrees in some places. By the time first responders reached victims, it was often too late. Dozens were either burned to death or asphyxiated by the deadly fumes, including these children. A rapidly rising mud flow destroyed a highway bridge and a once pristine nearby golf course was covered in dark gray ash and mud. Volcano is behind me. Manuel Cobar is there. Can you describe what you saw? I can dead people. Um, I can see very people hurt. Um, and the situation is very sad. Eugenia Garcia Uspatan lost all but two of her family members. I only managed to find two children last night, she says, but my two female daughters, my grandson and my son are missing together with my entire family. More than 3,000 people have been evacuated from the area. Officials expect the death toll to rise as rescuers reach more villages. Cameras capturing the eruption around noon Sunday. So powerful, it was visible from space. Ash billowed 15,000 feet into the air and blanketing three towns. The charred landscape so hot it melted the shoes of rescuers. Some firefighters wept amid the destruction in shelters so many children. We covered ourselves in sheets because we were suffocating, this woman says. Unlike the continuous slow-moving lava flows in Hawaii, the so-called pyroclastic flows in Guatemala are quick, chaotic avalanches. This group recording it on their phones before running for their lives. This is the deadliest eruption in Guatemala in more than a century. Tonight, communities are bracing for others as crews search for the missing. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News. No. Oh. 